Dear students, in the previous video, we have seen how we can install the CentOS on a Oracle Virtual Box without LVM concept. So now, in this video, we will learn how to install CentOS 7 in Oracle Virtual Box with LVM concept. Now you might be uh, knowing about uh, the CentOS is one of the popular operating system for those who are actually working on the various kinds of the servers such as mail server, web server, web proxy servers, FTP server. And if you are using any of this server where most of the time the disk space can change frequently and the standard partitions that we are using on the disk is not recommended at all for storing the data dynamically. So it will not be able to manage the disk dynamically. So on the other hand, if we look at the LVM, that is the logical volume manager, which provides an opportunity to manage the disk partitions dynamically. So LVM partition is always recommended for CentOS installation. So before going to actually understand what do you mean by LVM and uh, what is the basic purpose that we have seen right now. But LVM is not as simple as compared to the standard, pa standard partitions that we do. Basically LVM has various components such as PV that is known as a physical volume, then VG known as a volume group and LV known as a logical volume. So initially whatever may be the disk that you have, you are converting that disk or con adding that disk block into the physical volume block then you are using the physical volume block to create the volume groups so volume group is just a collection uh, of all these physical volumes that you have so it is just uh, a, a we can say a pull of a disk space uh, out of which you are creating the logical volume and from that pull that is from volume group you are creating the logical volume that is known as LVM so in LVM, a volume group is divided up into more than one logical volumes and logical volumes is used by the file systems and the application. So whenever if you would like to give this logical volume to some user, you have to apply the file system. So that we will discuss theoretical part uh, in the lecture part and here we will see how we can actually install the LVM partition. Uh, for CentOS on Oracle VirtualBox. And again, you have to follow the same steps uh, that we have followed in the previous video, such as you have to download the ISO image for CentOS and you have to install the VirtualBox. So now we have done with all the downloading and installation. Now let us start with the actual process. So for installation, switch to the menu option machines, click on new and provide the name of the machine that you would like to give. I am giving the name CentOS, it will choose the type and version, simply click on next, provide the required RAM size, for example 2048 that is 2 GB, create and next create a hard disk and then provide it as a virtual box disk image, click on next, then allocate that disk as a dynamically allocated, click next and provide the specific storage for this virtual machine that you are installing. So now here we have given the initial configuration. Let us provide some other settings before going to start with the installation. In general, you can see the CentOS and type and version. Advanced, you can change it to the bidirectional and for the drag and drop, change it to the bidirectional as well. Description and disencryption will keep it as it is. In the system tab, uh, you can change the pointing device to USB tablet processor it is recommended to extend the number of processor for this uh, virtual machine acceleration again no changes display no changes in remote display also and in recording also then switch to the storage and provide the disk image that you have downloaded so click on controller IDE and empty then choose the disk that you have downloaded so choose this is the CentOS downloaded image open it and click OK and then you have to start the installation process. So again 
during the installation uh, steps it will ask you the disk image that you have to choose and click on the start. So now it will uh, start the process of installation. So simply click on the first option that is start CentOS 7, press enter and then it will start to create uh, the installation process further. It will ask you the various options that you have to provide for the installation. So during that you have to simply close this messages as this messages will you know providing some information about the virtual machines. So it will take some time for uh, the booting and all. So once it has completed with all the uh, genome setup, uh, it will give you uh, the installation drive. So click this initial messages and start using the centers. So you will get the installed hard drive that will allow you to start the installation. So double click on this icon and it will start the installation of CentOS 7. So it will ask you the initial configurations that you have to set. So preferably I am choosing the language English. Then click on continue. It will ask you the date and time, keyboard layout and the network host configuration that are required for the installation. It is important here to uh, you know click at least once on each tab and uh, you can check the region and city if it is okay then click on done then keyboard layout you can change the keyboard layout that you are using then you can uh, provide this network but for now we are not making any changes to the network and host name so we are keeping it as it is then installation destination you have to click on this and you can find this is uh, providing you uh, various options for you know uh, providing the destination of your installation drive. So once you click on installation destination under the device selection, uh, this is particular area, click on the disk icon which is shown within the load local standard disk panel. From the other storage options, click on I will configure the partitionings. Now for that, you simply need to drag this to the down and in the other storage option you have to choose I will configure the partitionings then you have to click on done so it will now allow you to switch to the manual partitioning window and there you have to choose the various options that are required for the LVM configuration so under the manual partitioning window you have to click on this drop down by default it will choose the mount point which is known as LVM because LVM uh, provides the facility you know to manage the disk partitions dynamically so LVM is recommended partition here and as we have chosen the option that I am doing it manually so LVM you can choose or you can choose any of the other but for now we are choosing it as a LVM and then simply click on the plus sign located just below to this LVM right and we just need to add a new mount point so this is the new pop-up for the new mount point that you have to add so basically for this LVM partitionings it is recommended to add only the three proposed partitions mount point one is the boot second one is the swap and third one is the root so let us try to add the first partition that is known as boot. The desired capacity for this storage is recommended to provide as 500 MB, right? Then we are adding this mount point. So this mount point is added to this uh, LVM partition. Again, you can add, see, you can see here the total space was 21.22 GB. And out of that is now available 1888.5 KIB. That means that is the total number of size available. Then you can simply click on adding the another mount point on this plus sign. And here you can add the second mount point as a swap partition. And you can provide the size of that swap partition as 1 GB. Then add the mount point. So I think it has failed. Let us try one more time. So mount point you have to provide as a swap and the desired capacity that you have to provide is 1 GB. Then add this mount point. 
there is some issue with this so not enough space can be there let us try to modify this boot because it has taken the whole capacity so that's why i think you will change it to 500 500 only so let us see whether it will reset all these partitions reset the selection okay so again we will do that select the lvm click on the plus sign and specify the mount point as slash boot and for booting you have to provide the recommended size as 500 mb and add this mount so this boot partition mount point is added then add the second one that is known as swap then try to add the partition size as 1 gb add this mount point also and then add the last partition which is very much required as a root and for the root you don't need to provide the space it will take the desired capacity that means the remaining space whatever may be the space that is available it will choose the whole space so you can you know you have done with all the partitions you can check for the root file system it has taken almost 19.82 GB for a boot it has taken around 500 MB and for a swap it is of type CentOS it has taken it has taken around 1 GB of a space so simply click on done so that means here you have provided all the necessary information that are required to create the LVM partitions so you have to accept the changes that you have modified into the system and then once you accept then you can start the installation so again installation for the installation you have to provide the root users password you can specify any of the password and confirm the same password then also create the normal user for example I am creating here as a student and assign the password to the same normal user we can say or the user who is having a less privileges as compared to the root user so click on done and now you have to wait for 10 to 15 minutes it will complete all the installation and after installation we will also check what are the changes that we have done as uh, LVM partitioning so then we will check all the details that we have installed uh, after the complete installations so let us wait for some time right so go to the devices and uncheck the CentOS image and then click on force to unmount and then quit so once it will quit just simply uh, power off this machine and you can start it again so power off it and we'll start it again so simply go to the virtual box and then click on the start button so it will start the first time booting of this OS and uh, probably it will ask you the license agreement and that agreement you have to accept you simply need to close these messages so accept the license agreement and click on done and then finish the configuration So now it will boot and completed with the uh, CentOS installation with the LVM option. So log in with the root user by providing the root user name and the password that we have set. Once you log in, after login you can check whether the LVM installation is completed or not by running some commands or by checking some commands. So let us check uh, the LV that we have created or the logical volume that we have created. To check the logical volume that we have created, we use the command LV display and it will display the LVs that we have created that is the logical volumes. So dev slash send to a slash root of size 19 GB and then dev slash send to a slash swap of 1 GB and the other partitions that we have created so that is how it will maintain all the logical volumes that we have created